Welcome to the first episode of Mordhau Headhunting 2. Now, a few of you may have remembered a video I released a while back saying that Mordhau Headhunting Volume 2 was going to be in a 2v2 format. As much as I would have loved to make this work, things didn't end up lining up and it was practically undoable. So instead of cancelling headhunting altogether, we decided to change the format a little bit. Instead of doing 2v2s, we reverted back to the 1v1 format and we added in, instead of 3 lives, opponents now have 5 lives, and also it works in stages now, which you'll see in a minute. And if you're new to the channel, I encourage all of you to go check out the first headhunting series where I go in depth with what this challenge is in general, but you'll get a quick rundown in a minute here anyway. I also learned from last video that I do have quite a few NA and EU viewers, so for you guys who don't really know the Oceanic competitive scene as much, I'm going to be giving you a rundown on each of the players that got headhunted in this video so that you know a little bit more about the Oceanic competitive scene and the players that we're going up against. Anyway, let's get right into the explanation. So, for those of you don't know how headhunting works, headhunting is a challenge I set out for myself quite a while ago. For those of you who don't know, the whole point of my channel is to document my road to Mordhau Mastery, and this challenge really helps me do that as it puts me up against a lot of Oceanic's competitive scene and forces me to verse certain people that I wouldn't normally verse and see how they play whilst also making it as entertaining for my viewers to enjoy my content. That's also why it's a really good idea to catch me doing this challenge live on Twitch, as it's more enjoyable when you get to interact and choose whose fights cost them alive and whose fights don't. Also, there's a stage system in this time around of the headhunting challenge, which pretty much just means I have to eliminate one member from each team before I can verse members from another team. The stages list will be appearing on screen right now, showing you which teams are in what stages and what teams we've unlocked so far. Anyway, let's get right into the headhunting. The first person to get eliminated off of the list was a player formerly from Zion called FLX. Don't let FLX's light armoured appearance fool you. This man is a menace, and I'm actually very surprised that he was the first one that we eliminated from the Zion list. FLX is a player that likes to prefer to use his high speed due to his light armor to kite around his enemies and look for openings rather than try and sit and read his enemies' attacks. He also has a really good understanding on swing manipulation, which you'll see in this clip here. Unfortunately, we got impeded that you Oh my gosh! And can pull some pretty nutty things out of his ass. FLX seems very comfortable using fast, blunt weapons like the Evening Star and Poleaxe, which are very hard to verse and often have some weapon modeling issues where traces aren't aligned with the weapon model, which makes the weapon look like it hits you sooner than it actually hits you. In total, it took me roughly 9 jewels to eliminate FLX, and he put up a really good fight. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We did it. After eliminating FLX, we then unlocked the WSC stage of the headhunting list, but there was still another Zion member that was on pretty frequently that I wanted to get off the list before we started going after these WSC members. That member was Countess Rebecca. Countess Rebecca has been so far the hardest person to eliminate from the Zion list. That being said, there are many Zion members still to eliminate from the list, but the Countess Rebecca lasting for approximately 11 jewels when compared to her FLX counterpart who only lasted for 9. Countess Rebecca runs your Greatsword 333 build, the pretty orthodox playstyle of most Mordhau competitive players, and plays with a pretty orthodox style as well with many familiar drags and excels that you see most players use. That being said, so far she has the most amount of jewels taken to eliminate out of anyone who's been eliminated on the list, and I guess we'll just have to see as this volume continues whether she's able to keep that title. But without further ado, here's the final stand of Chad S. Rebecca. 11 jewels now, jeez, okay. We gotta do this. One time for them praying on my downfall. Yeah. Two times for them bitches in the South Shore. Wow. Three times for them days on the block getting chased by the cops like a motherfucking outlaw. Four times for them days. Okay, there we go. Back. Off the list. Five 11 jewels. Let's go. Yeah, I'm getting. Now, after Countess Rebecca, WSC still wasn't appearing on. 
A little bit of background on WSC is that they are actually a very old team in OCE Mordhau and many of their members don't play that often anymore. Many of them have day jobs and can only play on weekend afternoons. So it was taking us a while to get a WSC member on. So what we did is we ended up unlocking the SPQR phase, which came up after the WSC phase. But we didn't eliminate any WSC members just yet. So next up was actually Milf Wizard from SPQR. But I'm going to show you Friggy for the sake of continuity and sticking to the stages. Friggy is another 333 Chad who likes to use Greatsword and Evening Star. And me and Friggy had some really good duels which were actually pretty close and I enjoyed fighting him. And I feel really bad that this is the fight that I'm going to be showing. But this was his last fight that we had. And unfortunately he didn't really get to show his true skill in this last duel here. But hey... That's how the crookie crumbles, and unfortunately, he just had a bad jaw at the end there, and uh, that's what we'll be showing. But there really were some really nice close fights in there between me and Friggy, and it's really good to see him on again. If you want to see Friggy get another life in the headhunting tournament, feel free to jump on my Twitch channel and uh, vote justice for Friggy, and I may consider giving him one more life on the headhunting list. But anyway, without further ado, here is Friggy's last life. <laughs> FFA the decent default spear lad. Put him down. <laughs> Do we count that? That was a very sad way to go. And last but certainly not least was Milf Wizard. Milf Wizard is an interesting character. He's by no means orthodox at all and you'll see very shortly here why. His main builds that he was using against me in the headhunting competition were throwable rocks and buckler and <laughs> building hammer <laughs> and buckler. Now some people might see this as Milfi trying to BM me or some people just might think that he didn't really care and he was trying to have fun but regardless I don't really care. He was obviously not taking it as seriously as he could be but he still put up a really good fight and it took me eight duels to defeat him with most of the duels me losing were when he did decide to switch to a more serious weapon like billhook which whilst still being somewhat of a meme can actually be viably used similar to flx milf wizards makes great use of light armor and dodge to kite around his enemies whilst he wasn't using light armor in this clip here he was using light armor for most of his lives on the headhunting list and as i said before he is an avid dodge user which means that he is constantly kiting out of blows instead of trying to sit there and read all day despite all this it was quite fun versing milfy and it's a little bit of a change from your regular old 333 greatsword chad that only wants to do insane west sexes and drags. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know, sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of variety. For OC in EU, like OC in EU will both be in the high 100s and then NA players will be like in... Anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like and a sub because that really helps me out and it's free. If you want to join in on this challenge and watch it live, I'm normally live on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays Australian time. You can also join my Discord where I notify everyone in the Discord when I go live and there's also an emote contest on there right now and the winner of that emote contest gets one month subscription to my channel as well as that emote being used on my channel. So feel free to come join the Discord and join in on that. I'd love to see you guys live. All my links are in the description and until next time. I didn't see that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, they clashed. You so hate like to see it. I tell you what I hate doing. Stop! Um, oh, thank you, oh, thank you so lose. much, Deckle. Oi, oh. <laughs> Having like a slower weapon against Pingu. Right?